What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today. As you can see in the background, well actually no, my bag's there, my suitcase is further off out of frame. Uh, I'm back. I'm back from Qatar now. It was a nice little trip away. Um, I Obviously, massive shout out to uh, Ikma and Inner Esports for hooking us up with that. It was a really, really good time. Uh, myself, Cam, Aiden and all of our plus ones. We had a very lovely time out there. But we're back. We're on the MX Bikes grind now. Although not MX Bikes. Per se, we're on MX Snowcross, MX Skidoo grind right now today. Uh, so this release, basically the day that I left, which I was really, really annoyed by because I wanted to cover this like, straight away. Now, this is created by Devo Procworks, and it's essentially just like fully custom. It's not just like a, a bike with a new model over it. It's gone through. It's like fully automatic. You can change your gearing and such. And I'll overlay on the screen right now the MXP mods post because there's a lot of writing on here. And I ain't got time for all that. We're not reading all that. We're going to work out as we go instead. And you know, without further ado, let's try and spin some laps and see if we can work this thing out. For all of you passionate gamers, you can now get 20% off all G Fuel products worldwide by using code LINS at checkout. And for any of you motorheads looking for some new drip or apparel, use code MXPR underscore LINS15, fxrracing.eu to get 15% off. All links and codes are in the description down below. Enjoy the video and drop a cheeky little like and subscribe. Now you can see if I go into the garage here as well, you can still change the suspension and things like that. Being drivetrain, like it's fully automatic. Uh, others you can like still change the swing arm and stuff, but I'm going to leave all that stock as it is. I'm just going to go right over that. We'll leave it all stock. What I've also done is, which I didn't realise until I, I read through, he suggests using Supermoto Rider animations as well. So my leg does not come out, basically. Uh, it looks like it still comes out because I've got the automatic dab on, but yeah, in corners the leg doesn't come out. So you might want to uh, experiment with that a little bit. He does also say that he's left the brakes as normal for right now, so you've still got a front brake and a rear brake. Not a good start. <laughs> uh, it's got a front brake and a rear brake at the same time, and uh, he also advises actually using the clutch a little bit in some of the corners to get a good boost out. But we're going to see how this goes, and there's there's not too many sand tracks in this game. I hear the wolves popping off in the distance skin. There's not too many sand tracks in this game to be able to uh, test this bad boy on. Unfortunately, uh, over the Christmas period, the Christmas just gone, we did get this amazing track by JV called the North. So I will link both this uh, oh, both this Snowcross pack as well as this track into the uh, description down below for you to go and give go yourself. I might even see if I can try it on something a little bit smaller as well. Maybe maybe a bit of Lynn's Arena Cross. That's definitely not a biased opinion at all. Uh, but yeah, it's weird. Like it's I always find it so odd coming back to YouTube after having a few days off. I'm not sure what it is, but it just takes me a little bit to get back into the swing of things. Like, I could have very easily uh, recorded a video yesterday or done a live stream yesterday, but I'll be honest, I'm still recovering from a little bit of jet lag, which is something I've never experienced in my life before. I've never flown far enough for it to affect me. Usually, the longest flights I've been on have been about four hours or so, like somewhere else in Europe, say Spain, for example, for a holiday. Um, but this time round, I have seen this thing's done us really struggle through the whoops, but it's fine, it's not going to be perfect. Uh, this time round, it was a, basically a seven hour flight, six and a half hours one way, seven and a half hours the other way, just because of wind, like having a headwind. And yes, yeah, it's, it's just the furthest I've ever gone, especially the furthest south on the map I've ever gone. So we went to Qatar, and my god, is it a different way of life out there? It really, really is. Um, we did have... Uh, the, I, I'm trying to think of the m most respectful way of saying this as well, because obviously we're, we're very Western, and uh, the, the Arabic people in Qatar, they have a very different way of life. They have different beliefs, different outlooks, and I, I actually really enjoyed it out there. Everybody was so nice and so respectful. It was unreal. So we, we had, like, VIP passes so we got to sit in a nice air, air conditioned room most of the day and have just basically unlimited food and drink all the time and they wouldn't even let you kind of like pour your own water out they would come and do it for you so i know please let me do this and it was such a nice experience you could even open a door yourself they had people on every single door opening and closing i mean one set of people even saluted me and my dad's so we walked in the door it was actually crazy now we had a rental car which is all sorted out by um uh, in it as well and it was it's, it's just this like really like crappy little nissan sunny tiny little thing like it but it does a job you now it gets you from a to b and we park in this vip parking section and we're surrounded by g wagons aston martins like really expensive porsches and felt a little bit out of place we were definitely the um definitely the most touristy i think out of everyone there i mean we're walking around in the pits surrounded by like Saudi princes surrounded by all these top-level MotoGP riders and their 
mechanics and big names in MotoGP, and it was a very surreal but very, very enjoyable experience. Not something I think I would do if I wasn't doing it for VIP-wise, because it was quite hot there, and bear in mind it's winter there right now, so it's actually quite cold for them. But for me, and my pasty skin, not leaving my bedroom very often, it was very, very hot. I did uh, slap on the sun cream, I did reapply, so I did not get burnt, which is a big old W. And uh, if you follow my Instagram at all, you'll see that I managed to uh, sneak in the background to appear on TV for a little bit dur during the uh, the interviews for the racing. <laughs> I thought that was, that was quite funny. My my dad was sat next to me there, I don't believe you see him on there. Or at least in the clip I put on Instagram. But uh, he had his friend back at home texting him pictures of himself appearing on the broadcast while he's there. And it's us. It was, it was very funny, very interesting, but cannot rate it enough. I mean, the whole experience, the tickets, I think they cost about £2,000 each, which is ridiculous. Uh, so for someone like me, that is something I would never get to experience in my life if it wasn't winning it for a prize. So I hope that we do another Ikema event this, <laughs> this year. Because uh, I will be trying my absolute socks off. Really good time all round. And yeah, obviously it was nice to meet up with uh, Aiden. I met up with Aiden's dad. who I saw him at Hawkstone as well. He's really, really nice. Uh, saw Cam and uh, Harvey there, who was Cam's plus one. And it was, it was just a nice time all round. I really did have fun. Just, honestly, the sketchiest part of the whole time was trying to figure out how to drive on uh, Qatar roads. It's just a completely different system. They have like seven lane wide uh, motorways. And so... The slow lane, for example, is on the far right-hand side. And then if you want to turn off to the left, you have to cut across like seven different lanes to shoot over there. It was interesting. But thankfully, I didn't have to do that. I was the uh, navigator. I sat with uh, my head on my phone the entire time, staring at Google Maps, trying to uh, predict where we need to go. And my dad was the one that had to deal with the stress of the driving. So that'll be for me all round. But it's nice to be home. It is nice to be back in my own bed. Uh, it's nice to be back on the PC as well. I feel hella, hella rusty on bikes right now. This is my, my first time booting her up since being away. I played a little bit of COD last night, but obviously we can't make too many videos about Call of Duty. So that is what we're doing. We're sitting, sitting here and having a little bit of fun. Now, I've seen a lot of uh, good things being said about these bikes and how they, they feel really good. And a lot of people who are into their Snowcross IRL seem to be enjoying it also. Now, the person behind these, uh, Mr. Devo, is also making a track for them as well. Because like I said, we don't have much in the way of snow tracks on this game. Uh, maybe this will open the door. Maybe this will become its own uh, like discipline as a whole if we get some Skidoo series, Skidoo Racing. That would be a big old W. Because right now, these things feel very, very capable. I thought when I saw the speed that they can go in the garage and like the gearing and such, I thought they might be a little bit sluggish or slow. And obviously, I know these things are just incredibly heavy IRL. But right now, in-game, it feels good. I can't get through the whoops to save my life, but let's be honest. Jet, but I keep going to say jet skis. I do this in all of my Sledders videos as well, and I really, really do apologise. I know what I mean to say. It just doesn't come out correctly. I apologise. <laughs> These uh, The skidoos that we're riding on right now, it, it's not made for whoops. You know? It's just made for you know soft snow, ploughing through it, getting a job done. But you see, it's really... I'm actually getting around this track easier on this than I do on a MX bike. I've, I think I've done a hot lap video on this track before for, like, TikTok or something. And it took me probably a good 30 minutes just to get one clean lap. But I'm greasing rhythm sections right now. I'm a fan of the sound of it. Uh, I, obviously, I haven't not been around many, uh, many skis in my life. So I cannot tell you how realistic it sounds. But to me, as an outsider... I think it sounds all right. It doesn't sound too bad at all. What is nice is that it's not just a reskin motocross bike. It's got its own physics. You know, um, I would say it's the first proper customized mod that we've had in this game outside of bikes related. Uh, some people could argue that we did get a ATV at one point, but that was just a reskin motocross bike. So, so if this is the ground and this is the ATV, the center of it would still be in the middle. So when you lean, it's like your wheels would go through the floor, for example. Whereas this doesn't seem to do that at all. It seems to be really, really good. And I'm very happy that I slapped on the Supermoto animations for this because it's making it all that more convincing. And it's nice being able to use one of these weird mods and ride it in first person as well. I usually try and go in third person for all the weird and wacky stuff, but this feels natural. It feels good. I feel like I know where the machine is underneath me at all times. It does have a little bit of slip to it, which is nice to see. It's not perfect one-to-one -one traction and I imagine that you are constantly spinning everywhere when you ride these things. I've not really seen, I don't think I've ever seen a sled IRL. So I have no idea like sizing wise. I imagine they're they're big old beasts and just from my limited time of playing sledders, you know, there's... I want... 
noted. You spawn in neutral, you have to downshift to first, and that's how you get around. I, I, my muscle memory is kicking in there, and I'm trying to go up into second gear just over and over and over again. And uh, also, something that is a little bit off topic also, which um, I hope people won't mind too much, is usually I upload these videos in 2K. However, more and more recently, the more that I use my PC and just the more things I download on it, etc., and just general life, you, you build up stuff on your PC to where you use a lot of the, uh, lot of the space on it. And it's got to a point now where if I keep recording videos in 2K quality, I'll only be able to have like 20 minutes worth of recording on my PC at a time. I don't want that. I like having the ability to, so say for example, the Kells E Street race that I done the other day on the TM250. I like being able to record an entire qualifying and two races worth of footage and have that on my PC ready to turn into a video. So I think for a while now, you're probably going to see some 1080p videos out of me. I don't think it will cause much of a drop in terms of actual picture quality that you see. If anything, it might help it because it's, I guess it's kind of reducing and squeezing everything down rather than trying to expand it and, and make it all bigger. I mean, a lot of you watch me on like a phone regardless anyway, so you won't see that difference in quality. Um, but it's just, it's more for ease, you know, it takes up a lot less space, videos render a hell of a lot quicker, and then the videos also upload a lot quicker as well for me because I've not got to <laughs> upload like... 30 40 gigs worth of video every time i want to upload a video and my internet's not like it's good but it's good when it's wired and where i've got my whole desk situated right now i can't have it wired anymore because i got one of them like super super long uh cables that we ran through the floorboards and all sorts and it just doesn't quite make it to where i am but where i have my desk in my room right now i love it like it's just the best situation for it overall uh, so yeah, you might see 1080 for a while. Every now and then I'm sure I'll splash in a little bit of 2K. I might even start streaming in 1080 as well. We'll see how that goes. Because uh, I watch back some of my streams and like the bitrate, as soon as you start moving on this game, it's really hard for the bitrate to keep up. And I think uh, 1080 might help that a little bit more than, than 2K overall. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, so, I mean, let me know if you made it this far into this video and you feel like the quality's gone down a lot, do, do say and I'll I'll change back. But I, I'm, I'm quite happy with it for right now. Now, you creative bunch in the community will be very happy to know that uh, Devo has indeed included oh, a, um, I, I don't know if it's like a template, PSD template, uh, or it might just be a TGA template of the skin for this. So if you want to go and skin your own machine, you're more than welcome to do so. I'm sure we'll probably get some uh, replica skins of people's uh, real sleds at some point. I think I'm going to make over that. Oh, no, that was painful. Uh, yeah, we'll probably get some replica skins at some point, which would be quite cool to see. And obviously I'm running the Skidoo one right now. Outside of this, it comes with like a plain yellow, a plain black, and a plain red as well. I just thought yellow might uh, might pop most in the thumbnail, wherever it is that I end up taking. And I'm very curious to see. So I'm, I'm not sure if this is going to be like an ongoing project constantly, if he's going to keep going back and tweaking things, or if it's like a one and done. Uh, I'd like for it to be constantly worked on, because I, I imagine that doing series and full-on races on these things could be really really good fun it's just a dis extra discipline in the game that i think will actually be really warmly welcomed uh, for some reason so i think it's probably a bit of a skill issue slash user issue in getting things into the game i on this post there's a there's a, this i think it's like three point something star rating out of five and i don't get that i saw in the mods comments a lot of people saying that it wouldn't show up in game but i think they're just being goobers because it is literally Open the WinRAR file, drag Snowcross file into Bikes file, and it's done. And that's it. And I have a feeling that a lot of the bad ratings is because people aren't to computer literate and don't know how to get the things in the game in the first place. I think this is great. But it's, it's, it's struggled through the whoops a little bit for me. It's not made for whoops. It never will be made for whoops. It's not a motocross bike at the end of the day. It's not made for supercross. This is just the closest thing to a, a snowmobile track that I could get at this current point in time. And it'll be interesting to see if anyone does uh, dedicate the proper time to make us an actual like sledding track. I think that'd be really, really good fun. And something that I've never got to experience properly. I mean, I, I play sledders at the moment every now and then. I'm waiting for the next big sledders update to come out before I post anything more on that game. Um, but they've got one kind of half fleshed out track on there. Nothing like proper that you can spin lap and lap and lap on. So maybe there is still a little bit of a, a gap in the market, which maybe MX bikes will fill. You know, I mean, we've got... We've got our bike life, which isn't motocross related. We've now got our, uh, our skis here, which are not motocross related. And it'd be interesting to see what else could possibly come out in the future. I mean, if, if people ended up somehow making like working quads, etc., where uh, all four wheels stay above ground. I got through. 
that just had to go a little bit slower. Uh, I think it would just be really cool and just another discipline in the game to do races on. It just brings a new little bit of life to the game as well, which I'm always welcoming of. I was a little bit annoyed because I think there's literally been about seven tracks released since I left to go away. And I was going to cover, I think it's called Canyon Rush. Uh, Ishii, who is the creator of it, uh, slid in my DMs on Discord whilst I was away. So I, I couldn't like do an early access thing to it. And I tried logging on to uh, MXB shop today to give it a cheeky little download uh, to, for this video. Like this, this jet ski wasn't, uh, jet ski, oh my god. This sled wasn't going to be the video for today. Um, but yeah, I had trouble logging into uh, my shop account. So I've uh, bought a little ticket in there. We'll see what happens. So maybe tomorrow's video will be Canyon Rush. It looks really, really good. And it looks really pretty as well. So I'll be happy to finally cover that. But I'm back. We're back in action. I will probably live stream once or twice in the evening today. I'm also contemplating. So obviously, once I these wolves are actually so loud. They almost, they almost scare me a little bit. I'm contemplating... I thought that'd be a burn for some reason. It's not. Yeah, I'm kind of playing that. So throughout the day, obviously, I've got a decent amount of spare time. Sometimes I hop on bikes. Sometimes I'll hop on cod with the boys. And I'll just a lot of time I'll be sat here at my PC anyway. I might just go live on Twitch for for anything throughout the day, and then in the evening when I do like uh, public lobbies or elimination races, etc., just stream on YouTube. I don't think there's any like there's any negatives to that at all there'll be a lot more casual streams there'll be a lot less uh, people in there so if you do have any general questions it'll be easier to answer and that's kind of my attitude going forwards i mean so to wrap things up to actually talk about this mod rather than my general life and doings uh, this is a big old w it is a lot more nimble than i expected it to be but whether that's a good or bad thing i don't know you sledding enthusiasts can let me know down below if there's anything you'd like to change this is just a one-man project bear that in mind so it's not like there's a massive team of uh, testers or people working on it and I think he's done a really really good job just for being one man by himself and I do hope hope that this opens the door for a lot more I guess sledding content sledding tracks and I am a big old fan and what is good as well is uh, if you use code mxpr underscore lins 15 at fxr checkout um, I don't think we can actually get any um, any snow snow attire yeah unfortunately I think it just relates to the motocross stuff but who knows in the future we might be able to uh, spread our wings out a little bit and uh, Get into the sledding scene with our discount code as well but it's just quite funny that fxr is a big name in that industry and we are fortunate enough to be sponsored by them so that'll wrap out for me i hope you have enjoyed and uh keep your eyes out for some exciting stuff to come and have a lovely rest of the day whatever you're up to please do drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new all that lovely stuff i've crashed in the whips enough times for one video i'll catch you guys next time peace I'm working hard, I'm sacrificing my life, I'm sacrificing my mind, I'm sacrificing my sanity, but most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time, boy, I feel fine, I feel like I am a king, honestly, I can't complain, even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want, I got salt.